Hello, everybody. Um, this is a little show and tell of my jelly plate prints. Uh, before I start, I'd like to show you what the jelly plate looks like. Um, for those of you who have never seen this before, um, this is the uh, jelly plate and it comes in this clamshell package and uh, you have your instruction manual with uh, how to take care and maintain your jelly plate. Here's some pictures of what you can do. Now there's a plastic film that it comes with. So you save this. Um, so when you put this away, you put that plastic film back. Uh, this is what the jelly plate looks like. It's, it's very rubbery and it's very flexible. I call it a giant gummy bear. Uh, I don't know what it tastes like though. So here's this jelly plate. So I'm gonna put it back. Okay. These are some prints that I've done, and these are the very rich and interesting textures that you can achieve using the jelly plate. And as you can see, these are my collage paper here. Oh, this texture here was made with bubble wrap. It's actually one of my favorite texture devices. It's, it's easy. It's bubble wrap is plentiful. Next I have these. This is my favorite Thalo Blue. And th this is Japanese lace paper. This one and this one. And this is also uh, Japanese paper. 
the same with this. Now I created these um, squiggle marks on the jelly plate while it's, it was still wet. So you apply the uh, textures on the plate and then you make the impression. This is where um, the fun comes in when you experiment with different shapes, different cutouts that you can lay on the plate and uh, you discover what you can create with different uh, materials. It's a couple of green pieces here. So I combined phthalo blue and uh, this emerald green to create this very rich, dark background. And here's some more of that Japanese paper. There are little, little bits of leaves that are made into the paper. This is uh, made with a paint pen and here are some of my handmade collage papers. It's actually amazing what rich, complex backgrounds you can create with a jelly plate. Um, this is probably only two or three presses on the plate. It looks like a lot more, but you can create these very complex backgrounds 
with um, several applications of thin acrylic. Here I have a piece of black tissue paper. And this is a little piece of uh, copy paper with some floral design on it. So these are my last two pieces and uh, I hope you can have some fun as well creating your own unique artwork. I hope you enjoyed this video and please like, share and subscribe. <laughs>